Welcome back. In this video, I'm going over two stocks I'm watching that I predict could offer huge returns both in the short and long term. Before I start, do me a favor and smash that like button if you are ready to see some huge returns. Also, if you are new, hit that subscribe button for more plays such as the ones in today's video. Keep in mind, this is not financial advice and this video is sponsored on behalf of Uranium Royalty Corp. You need to do your own research and homework prior to making any type of investment decisions. So let's start with the first stock, which is Uranium Energy. Energy Corp. You can find this trading on the New York Stock Exchange under ticker symbol UEC. Now, if you didn't know, I've actually covered this company back in September, but I wanted to provide a quick update since the uranium sector is exploding and this company has taken off. So just for some context, Uranium Energy Corp is a US-based uranium mining and exploration company. The company's operations are managed by professionals with a recognized profile for excellence in their industry, a profile based on many decades of hands-on experience in the the key facets of uranium exploration, development, and mining. Now, the company also controls one of the largest databases of historic uranium exploration and development in the country. Using this knowledge base, the company has acquired and is advancing exploration properties of merit throughout the southwestern U.S. The company's fully licensed and permitted Hobson processing facility is central to all of its projects in South Texas, including the Palangana Insight to Recovery Mine and the Goliad Insight to Recovery Project, which is fully permitted for production and under construction. Furthermore, Uranium Energy Corp is well financed to aggressively pursue its key development targets. Now, here is a quick update to the company's balance sheet, physical portfolio, ESG, and project development as of October 26th of this year. So they reported $235.4 million of cash and liquid assets comprised of $96.4 million in cash, $82.3 million in equity holdings, and $56.7 million in physical inventories. This positions UEC with a leading balance sheet in the uranium sector. Next, they expanded physical portfolio of U.S. warehoused uranium to 4.1 million pounds, resulting in an average cost of $32 per pound with various delivery dates throughout December 2025. Now, the current delivered inventories stand at 1.2 million pounds in the physical portfolio with a market value of $56.7 million based on a current spot price of $47.25 per pound. Furthermore, they launched formal developments of an environmental, social, and governance program to build on the company's robust safety, health, and environmental protection systems in place while identifying new sustainability initiatives for enhancement. Since January of 2021, they also completed 126 resource delineation holes and 43 additional monitor wells at Burke Hollow Project's initial production area, which is the newest and largest insight to recovery well field being developed in the U.S. Guys, that is insane, okay? Finally, one more thing, guys. They also reduced the debt from $18 million to $10 million under the company's current credit facility. Guys, definitely do yourself a favor and add Uranium Energy Corp to your watch list. Also, drop a comment and let me know what do you think of this stock. The second stock on the list I want to talk about, which is another absolute banger and also the highlight of today's video is Uranium Royalty Corp. You can find this trading on the TSXV under ticker symbol URC and on the NASDAQ under ticker symbol UROY. So, Uranium Royalty Corp is a truly pure play on Uranium Uranium, which is 20% owned by Uranium Energy Corp, which we just discussed. Mr. Amir Adnani is the chairman of Uranium Royalty Corp, whose other major shareholders include Altius Resources Inc., Mega Uranium Limited, Marine Katusa, the KCR Fund, Extract Capital, Rick Rule, Sprott Global, and Commodity Capital. Eric Sprott, Rick Rule, and Marine Katusa are among the world's most renowned commodity investors and experts. Another connection between Uranium Royalty Corp and Uranium Energy Corp is the presence of Mr. Scott Melby, who has been the chief executive officer and president of the company since October of 2019, with over 35 years of experience in the nuclear energy industry and leadership positions in the various uranium mining companies and industry organizations. Now, Mr. Melby is responsible for uranium marketing and sales, as well as strategic growth objectives in his various roles with uranium royalty. Along with Mr. Adnani, other company directors include David Newberger, who has over 30 years of experience in operation leadership roles, corporate strategic planning projects, and mine engineering. Mr. Newberger has also served as the VP of International Mining and VP of Mining for Chemical Corp, as well as VP GM of Cupol Operations for Kinross. Next, there's Vina Patel, who has 18 years of experience raising capital from UK and European institutional investors in mining and exploration equities, including uranium companies. Ms. Patel was previously the head of London Institutional Sales for Haywood Securities. Next, there's Neil Gregson, a highly qualified mining engineer 
engineer with over 30 years of experience in asset management within the resources sector. Gregson was formerly a portfolio manager of the JP Morgan Asset Management Global Equities team based in London and the head of emerging markets of Credit Suzy Asset Management. Guys, Uranium Royalty Corp is actually the first and only company to apply the successful royalty and streaming business model exclusively to the uranium sector. Therefore, it's important to understand what makes the royalty and streaming business model so lucrative. The company is focused on gaining exposure to uranium prices by making strategic investments in uranium interest. Here's how the business model works in general. So metal royalty and streaming companies provide funds for mines in exchange for future payoffs. The royalty entitles the holders to a fixed percentage of the revenues less certain expenses generated by the mines and stream entitled the holder to a portion of physical metals produced by the mines. Uranium Royalty Corp takes advantage of this business framework by making strategic investments in uranium, including royalty streams, debt, and equity in uranium companies, as well as through potential physical uranium transactions. The company's strategy recognizes the inherent cyclicity of valuations based on uranium prices, including the availability of capital in different pricing environments. Uranium Royalty Corp's portfolio includes interest in development and advanced permitted and past producing uranium projects in multiple jurisdictions. In addition, the company has a strategic investment in Yellowcake, a company that has a long-term supply agreement with Kazatomprom. This is the world's largest uranium producer. This supply agreement enables Yellowcake to produce up to $1.07 billion of uranium for Kazatomprom for over a 10-year period. Guys, that is insane. Yellowcake has already completed its initial purchase of uranium, acquiring a significant amount of 8.1 million pounds of U308 for a cost of $170 million. Plus, since the initial investment, Yellowcake has purchased an additional 0.35 million pounds of U308 for Kazatomprom for $8.2 million and 1.175 million pounds for $30.4 million. Guys, that is incredible in my opinion. Uranium Royalty Corp currently has an approximate 9.6% stake in Yellowcake. This is direct exposure to the rising uranium price and a nice addition addition to the company's royalty and streaming revenues. Furthermore, the company also has an option to acquire up to $31.25 million worth of uranium between January of 2019 and January of 2028. On top of it all, URC has an option to participate in any and all future uranium royalty and stream transactions Yellowcake pursues on a 50-50 basis. Not only that, but URC and Yellowcake have agreed to collaborate on future opportunities involving physical uranium, and the company also uses utilizes a disciplined approach to manage its fiscal profile. Its royalty portfolio can only be described as world class. Part of this portfolio is the Cigar Lake mine. Cigar Lake is a license to produce 18 million pounds of uranium per year. Historical production of 93 million pounds of uranium has been recorded since Cigar Lake went into production in 2014. In my opinion, this is one of the best uranium projects in the world today based upon numerous valuation metrics. Guys, this is definitely a company I think you should add to your watch list. Now, the company just recently entered into a definitive agreement to acquire the existing royalty interest of MacArthur River and Cigar Lake Mines. This acquisition represents a transformational transaction for Uranium Royalty Corp because it provides potential near to long term cash flow opportunities from existing long life mines operated by Cameco in partnership with Arano Canada Inc. These are two of the world's most prominent uranium and nuclear fuel companies. Now, guys, do yourself a favor and be sure to add this company to your watch list i will drop a link in the description if you wish to learn more keep in mind this is not financial advice and this video is only for entertainment purposes please be sure to do your own research prior to making any type of investment decisions